Hey everyone, I hope you well. This is Coins Kid. Welcome to the Coins Kid crew. Okay, so right now there's a big, big competition on Bybit. Um, I would like you to get involved if you can. You know, co come and join the crew. Come and join the Coins Kid crew. Okay, it's a it's a team on Bybit, and there's a massive trading competition. The the total prize pool is eight million dollars here. Okay, and you know the top ten of the crews get to to take a share of that pot. It's going to be really interesting. I'm recruiting some really good traders into the crew. So it's great if we can all get involved in this, right, and win it as a community. That would be absolutely amazing so this is going to be the intro for the next few days on the video because i just want to try and get you into the crew so we can build an amazing team here okay for this particular competition because it would be so cool if we win it as a community here the link to this competition and to get involved is in each and every single video description so just diving into bitcoin then you can see here that bitcoin's obviously rolling at the moment we've got rejected here and we're creating a lower high there's actually some kind of little double top uh, double m pattern just there okay descending triangle depleting buying pressure uh from here and you can see we're actually rolling just there i know a lot of people are expecting some kind of breakout here and i said to you there was a kind of pattern here coiling up and you're going to get some kind of break and you're trading confirmation and right now you close below this pattern and you're losing support so you're coming down okay so what's the technical target of this pattern and you can see from there to there you got your double m top pattern and you come down and met the target right now so is is it a case that bitcoin is going to keep doing this over the next couple of days leading into next week and we come down to retest this red line here at a bare minimal which is the monthly 55 ema right there look at that beautiful look at that level of support down there so it looks geared up for it doesn't it you're going to come down is there any guarantees of course of not but if you was to start to come down that for me would be an amazing level of support right there if you do start to wick through that i'm going to show you exactly where i think you might get some cheeky bids on uh, for bitcoin and this could be the end of the correction just here for, for bitcoin and from there we start to go back up the stairs and what you've done basically not capitulated but you've come down to the low here so i think what you're doing you're retracing to this low at the moment so the 382 is a really really key area of support for me at the moment you can see if i drop the fibs on uh let me show you right now the fib look at that 382 level just there 23187 for bitcoin let me get that knob on for you right now you know what i try to do is catch the wicks at the bottom you see these wicks you see this is a monthly time frame you can see that the wicks if you can catch the wicks fantastic so i know a lot of people are expecting something like this where we come down here but personally i think that we've got this big correction here you've got this abc correction you've got the abc zigzag correction and you've got this big expanded flat correction just there for bitcoin so what i'm trying to do is find a low because at that point i think you're going to get some kind of sharp recovery here for bitcoin okay and again nothing i say is financial advice but if we can grab the wick down here off this key level of support this way you start to come back up like this okay and, and that could be absolutely amazing for everyone going forward now we need confluence to this and basically if we take a look on the rsi here we've got a, a really important level of support in the rsi which bitcoin is almost down at look look at this so you've got your bear market bottom just there bounced off this rsi you've got your bear market bottom just there bounced off this rsi you got your corona dump which everyone remembers it was awful horrible times for the markets bitcoin especially but you never came down to that level just there did you so right now you, you literally at historic levels on the monthly time frame if it was to roll here leading to next week this could be a fantastic entry point on your rsi what equally you've got is the stock rsi being in the floor down here okay like it is whenever you expect an impulsive move to the upside you're at all the levels that you need to be at to expect something like this which is what i'm expecting after this correction's over but again you know no guarantees nothing i say is financial advice everything is for educational entertainment purposes only so you know it, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to look at this and think you know if i could go back in time okay and i could have entered bitcoin at any point one indication would be on the weekly time frame and on the monthly like i've just shown you anytime you've been oversold below this level here is oversold but anything below 30 on any time frame is classed as oversold okay so you can see on the weekly time frame fantastic area where was you bottom of the bear oversold below 30 where was you bottom of the bear and right now it looks as though we're gearing up to drop into next week basically again where are we right in the oversold trajectory just there now a lot of people are saying why next week okay well i'll show you i've gone through this with you many times before if we take a look uh, at this particular um ema just here this 20 ema you've just crossed this week you've crossed this moving average uh, which is the 100 moving average so the 20 ema has crossed the 100 moving average now historically whenever bitcoin's done that look at that cross you're doing it literally this week okay this week historically whenever bitcoin's done that one week later bitcoin bottoms 
okay I'm not lying to you it's in the charts okay and this is why people say to me why don't you look at the macro environment and things like that you know because the charts are what tell me the story not the news do you understand show me the charts and I'll tell you the news I'm just adhering to data and obviously if that data gets invalidated it's invalidated and we can't use it as data do you understand so we've got a death cross just there 20 crossing the 100 on that week just there what happened a week later we bottomed and we quickly came up the stairs you know we created that beautiful ascending triangle broke out and bitcoin got back above all these emas again really overextended from the weekly emas there like i said to you so many times overextension leads to retracement and something we've not done here for bitcoin is we trace to the 20 since i think it's march isn't it we've not touched the 20 ema and you can see if we was to do that we would begin to get really overextended there for bitcoin so i would expect some kind of retracement into the emas to retest as resistance and even that scenario is tradable to the upside you understand so i'm just trying to find the low for you here and a reason why it is the low and you know there's a lot of confluence lining up right now that next week is the low and down here is where you're sort of going to go basically so at the minute you can see you retrace into the 382 because you've lost this 236 just there you're coming down so your next level of support on, for me on the fibs is the 382 at 23008 thereabouts it doesn't mean you can't wick through it and start to come back up because that's what you usually see on bottoms you know and equally we've got the monthly 55 like i've said to you so many times whenever you close below this 20 ema you head on down to the 55 and it looks geared up for it doesn't it so that's basically bitcoin if we take a look on the daily time frame Frame right here um, you can see you've got your double M top pattern just there I think I went through this with you earlier in the week as well as it were creating it you got your double M top pattern there and um, let's have a look you think the targets been met obviously from there to there and it looks like you're coming down now that's key resistance going forward you've got the 20 coming down so you might get a relief rally today okay and everyone thinks you're bullish and you're gonna start coming back up the stairs but for me it looks like it's poised for next week to at least come down to these levels isn't it you know because of historical data right there which I've shown you uh, one other indicator we need to keep an eye on is this super cycle indicator here where we get these two moving averages the light blue line crossing the dark blue line which looks poised as well so you can imagine if Bitcoin over the next couple of days starts to rally into 20 ma it could offer an amazing short for you if you're not already short okay and at that point ride it down because at that point if this comes down to these levels here and bounces you know put your bids in down here again if you if you leverage trading please use stop losses you know for me personally i've got bids down here you know i'm, I'm looking to enter bitcoin next week i've said this to you the whole time uh you know and at this point if we do rally and everyone thinks oh you know it's, we're going to go bullish again and break up and go to 40k and things like that you've got everything in the charts telling you you're not going to do that okay and you're going to create this death cross just here it's literally days away isn't it and historically the, the super cycle here it's it's called every single bottom bottom to really really good accuracy basically so again no guarantees but i'm just looking at previous data to to sort of try and find the path going forward and you know and, and if we can create this bottom right now you could say okay well the abc correction is done here and we have got this large expanded flat correction which have been badgering on about for a very very long time now and it's not nearing completion you know like i said to you so many times i think you're nearing completion of that now one thing we need to see to validate this right now is obviously hold these lows and start to come up and don't get rejected and start to come back down because if that is the case then this is a large abc correction and this was your top do you understand what i'm saying to you so you know i know we've got historical data telling us this that and the other but there's never any guarantees with that data just because it's done it before doesn't mean it will do it again do you understand and if it if it doesn't do it then it means all the data's out the window and we're in a sort of new paradigm now where bitcoin is doing different things to what it's done previously okay and then you could say the macro environment's actually having an effect on bitcoin price which personally i don't think it is but anyway that's bitcoin i hope you enjoyed that update but hopefully this low is in next week it would be absolutely amazing if we can nail this and, and i've given you a low down here and then we start to ramp it back up into next year and we get to that 200k target which i've been badgering on about for so long take care everyone back soon with another update on bitcoin stay off safe strong stay tuned bye bye